This is my hometown, Henderson, Kentucky. I've never been away from here, but I can't imagine there's any other place quite like it. It's a beautiful town right on the river where the grass is green and so are the trees. The people are nice and they say hello to you as they pass by on the street. Yeah, whether they know you or not, it's a great place to grow up, but... Things started to get really, really weird around here toward the end of summer. Crazy things started to happen all around Henderson. My sisters and I actually slept through all of this, but our parents went crazy. Yeah, so I'm just getting started. I swear, this also happened. Cat started barking. <coughs> and dogs meowing. <coughs> Tell me that's not weird. Yeah. My friends and I probably aren't too different from all you guys. Maddie, you have so much potential. Since you don't believe in yourself and you're sewing in your workouts and on the track. If you don't start believing in yourself and working harder, you'll never improve those times. Hey! You think you can fix Dad's old laptop? It's a clunker. Geek Inc. at your service. What? I don't know what's wrong with it. It worked this morning. And the winner of this year's science fair project goes to... Sheldon, I know you're disappointed, and this looks really cool, but there's always next year. No, no. The popcorn's good. <sighs> Where do you think Blinky got, um, whatever it is that she's wearing? Maybe the dumpster? <laughs> For sure. Yep. That's me. And my two horrible sisters. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bye, Bray Space. Bye, Stinky. Oh, I mean Blinky. By the way, Tammy, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. What a coincidence, you and your brother have the same birthday. Yeah? Oh, 
what do we have here? A party. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here. The party can begin. I, I brought pie. It's my mom's famous pie. I love pie. <laughs> Boys and girls with their decorations are disgusting. <laughs> but wait, I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Little do they know it's about to happen. Look at me. Oh, it's okay, Snowflake. It's just Fat Boy Mayor Tim. <laughs> with his pie at the birthday party. Oh. Let it begin with the three, two, one. They don't know what's happened. I don't like sharks. I don't like sharks. I don't like sharks. I don't like sharks. You know what's going on? No, I don't. Can you Don't want that boy to see me. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no, don't find me. I have nobody back here. <laughs> Which one of these dead burn cords goes to the fog machine? These cords, I'll tell you, it's too much. Good afternoon, Brutus. Uh, Jehovah's Witness, I ain't got time for them. Come on. These, you have to have an engineering degree to put these fog machines together. I should be helped with this. This should not take this long. Gotta get fog up on this porch. Good afternoon, Brutus. Can I help you? I'm a little busy here. Yeah, it seems that you like Halloween just a little bit. You think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to invite you to our church's annual trunk or treat for the kids later this month. Children? No, I'm, I don't know. The church back's right up to your property, sir. No, I'm not going to that. Okay. I'm too busy. All right, well, you enjoy your day. Children, you could scare them and get this town under your mercy. But what to wear? Pastor? Yes? I think I will be attending. Yes, I'll be coming. Not too many people know me around here, and it'll give me a chance to make an impression on the community. Yeah. Great, I'll see you there. <laughs> yes, and I'll see you. <laughs> Yes, I'll see you all. Guys, 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 it's it's the Punisher. I think he's been shaving since he was seven. Really? Quick, try not to make eye contact. And it's an odd squad. Yeah, the nerd hurt. Come on, guys. Don't waste your time on them. Yeah, with the not so hot spots. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Did, Did we, we just agree on something? something? Whatever, no. losers. Yeah, losers. Jeez. Let's get to class. So, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Well, I don't know yet. Well, I heard of this really cool website called HalloweenCostumes.com, cool. and oh, I'm figuring. Guys, we need to get on Mayor Tim's press conference and see what he's got to say about the lake. Oh my God. All right, all right. Let's settle down, everyone. Settle down. Uh, we're here to talk about the events that happened at the lake park yesterday afternoon. Now, to be perfectly honest, those events have been classified, then declassified, and now overly simplified as just a fluke. In fact, I have a report right here from our own prestigious parks department. They work for me. And it states, 
The bizarre set of circumstances that happened yesterday afternoon at the lake was simply algae. Yes, Al algae, yes. Algae, A -L -L -G -G. A-L-L-G-G. Algae. The city is saying it's some type of algae. No. <laughs> yeah. no way, guys. Don't believe them. They yeah. they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, that no. that was not algae. It has no characteristics. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. We were there and we saw. I saw shark fins. Yeah. yeah. My dad says it's haunted. Wait a minute. The lake is haunted. Really? The lake, the whole town, and definitely that mansion downtown. Really? What mansion. The one across the street from the church. It has the big iron fence around it, and he decorates. The one covered in Halloween decorations? Yeah. Some kids say that last year when it was time to take down all the Halloween decorations, not all the ghosts and monsters were put back into their boxes. Okay, what do you what do? You do? Just leave them out and they, they walk yeah. off? Yeah. They walked sense. off? They walked off. No, no way. That's why no. some kids say that. That's not but, nice try. I mean... Supposedly, he has a laboratory down there where he does experiments. No. Experiments? On what exactly? Not on us, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Blinky is terrified after the thing at the lake and then this morning with the river. I don't know if I can even get Rusty to go to school tomorrow. He's afraid he's gonna vanish, for real. It has to stop. I mean, what is causing all this insanity? Sheldon has been researching these things online for days and he doesn't have any answers. Maddie's in her room and I'm afraid to come out. Well, you know, with everything that's been going on, Doug is, he's really wondering what's coming next. So he's thinking that we may move away. You, you and Dad, Dad can move, but we're staying. This is where all of our friends are. Well, we'll, we'll see, kids. We'll see. What are you guys whispering about? Oh, nothing, Chloe. We just think we should be wearing a dress in here. <laughs> Actually, I think this is the perfect environment to hold a beautiful tea party. <laughs> <sighs> you guys are so bad. Tell me about it. I actually have to live with that one. Even worse, I have to live with you. Oh, can you be quiet? Even worse, we have to hear you guys talk at the same time. Okay, guys, let's get serious. What is going on in this town? We heard our parents talking, talking about moving away. away. See? Mine too. They want to leave. We can't let this happen, guys. We'll never see each other again. There, ha there has to be some type of scientific mathematical okay, equation that with I... the dictionary? Guys, maybe we'll just get lucky and all this weird stuff will just stop. Yeah, yeah maybe. Come on, guys. Let's head home. Before I decide to paint my bedroom pink. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. It's gotta be Snively doing this for sure. Remember the birthday party, the computer room, and all the pets in the city are going crazy. And there was a tsunami in the river. Oh yeah, we read that in the newspaper. River. Yeah, we read that in the newspaper. <laughs> we gotta stop Snively, and it starts with this house. But how? I mean, this guy's got strange powers. What have we got? Google. Hey, Tommy, um, here's a report about Snively and his family. Yeah, we found the same stuff. Okay. It's all about Snively's great, great, great grandfather found some gold around here. And he helped grow Henderson by building free houses for all the miners to live in with their families. That's cool. During our research, 
We found out that all the houses, he gave them back to the people of Henderson when all the gold was gone. Yeah, that was really nice. Tammy and I found some blueprints about Snively's lab he built two years ago. I yes, told what? you. Yeah. Oh, remember the report at City Hall? It said something about dirt and rocks, but oh, yeah. we couldn't figure it out. It was super confusing. Hey guys. Hi mom. Sorry, but it's Hi, bedtime. So we need to turn off all your devices, okay? And I want you to get some good sleep because tomorrow is trunk or treat. Yeah, yeah. Hi, all right, love you guys. Bye. All right, Thank good you. night. Good night, Irene. Good night. Good night. I just can't take it anymore. Oh my goodness. How do we know nothing about him? Well, all we really know is that he's a super weird science guy, and he's really rich. Well, for all you no-brainers out there, it means that he's an enigma. A what? That's some kind of weird vampire swamp monster. Yeah. No, it means that he's a mystery. Well, then basically we got a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. And then some. Just everybody go back to sleep. Okay. Guys, 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 guys! Are you okay? Is everyone fine? You good? Yeah. What was that? Just go back to sleep. Just go back to bed. Come on, pick up the pace, Loco. You can carry more than that. Y'all hurry up. I need to get in here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, sweet gold. <laughs> you were rich, Snowflake. <laughs> we'll be eating filet mignon all night long. We need to go deeper. There's more gold. Bring me more dynamite. You bum, I said more dynamite. We gotta go deeper. <laughs> Take a moment to thank everyone for coming out on such a beautiful day that the Lord gave us. I hope you're all having fun. We are. <laughs> uh, can I help you, sir? Pastor, it's me. <laughs> Who's me? Me. Brutus. Paul oh, Snively. <laughs> Brutus, I love the outfit. Did you come for my blood? No, but I could recommend a few other people. Pastor, <laughs> great turnout. I know. I think the kids are really having a good time. Oh, I am. So, uh, Mr. Snively. It's uh, Snively. Snively. Pardon. I believe you know the mayor. <laughs> Good to see you, Bruce. You do know this is a church, right? And you do know you're supposed to eat that cupcake and not wear it. <laughs> you big wiener. <laughs> Pastor, uh, did you receive the pumpkins? Oh, I said? yes. That was so very kind of you. We're going to send them home with the children at yes, the end of the day. Please, please do. I've decided this year to have a haunted house. Oh, it's a lovely idea. For the idea. kiddies, you know, oh, for the kids. Of course, yes, yes. Yes. Pastor, could I please make an announcement? I don't, I don't see why not. Please, please do. Please, 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 please do. Please. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, are you good people? Uh, as you probably know, my great, great, great grandfather, Cornelius Snively, helped this town by building homes for the people who worked in his gold mines. But what you probably didn't know is that he used his own money generously to build this old church. Yes, well, I just wanted to let you know that I'll be having a haunted house at my house for you guys to come over. It'll be a good time, so please, please bring the kitties over, yes. And in the spirit of Halloween, we'll be having a jack-o'-lantern carving contest. We're We'll be giving children all these sharp knives so they can carve up the pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So children, come get your knives, please. <laughs> okay. No. Let, let, let's thank Mr. Snively. Snively? It's Snively. Mr. Snively for the pumpkins. 
not so much the knives. But have a great trunk or treat, everyone. This is the reason we don't invite him to things. He's a menace. My gosh. Knives to children? Can't even imagine. Good grief. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Is that it? My stomach's gonna be as empty as yours. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay. All right, bye-bye. Yeah. All right, yeah, enjoy your lunch. All right, bye, Mr. Mayor. Pastor, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's all these calls. The mayor every five minutes, and I assured him these are not the plagues of the Old Testament. So let it be written, so let it be done. Oh, what? You'll bring her. Anyways, what can I do for you guys? Well, Pastor, Rusty's been having nightmares. Chloe's staying up all night. She's not sleeping. And Blinky's been terrified all week. Well, nightmares and dreams are a way for God to communicate to us. And we all interpret them differently. Yeah, but they seem to be getting a lot worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We just have to stay strong and remember that no matter what, God is in control. Pastor? We love you and we love the church. We were seriously thinking about moving away. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I truly hate to see that from any family here in Henderson, but I understand that you have to do what's best for your family. Thank you, Pastor. Yep. Thank you. Let me walk you out. Now, 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 everyone, calm down, please, calm down. When in the course of human events as a community, we must come together to participate. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Stuff it, Mr. Mayor, come on, tell us the truth. Why are these strange things happening, and what are you doing to find out who's doing them? Well, I can assure you, my people... Tell us the truth, Mayor. You can't handle the truth. We can handle it, and we need to know the truth so we can protect our kids and homes. Yeah, come on. You know, if it was left up to me, I'd sell my house right now and move. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. Who would even think about buying a Henderson now? I would. Who are you? I am Benjamin Schaefer, and my client is prepared to make fair offers on all your homes. All right. Cash offers. Oh, all right. You know what? Show me the money. No, hold, hold up here, hold up. Who is your client? Brutus Snively. Oh. Do you mean old man Snively? No, Snively. I've heard it both ways. And I've got the contracts right here, so come on up. Mr. Snively believes that no one hey. should live in Henderson in fear. So let's make a deal. Let me have some. Yes, yes, tell them. We'll take it, we'll take it. Yes, <laughs> buy them, buy them all, buy them all up. What we buying, boss? You deal with, you're not buying anything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this year's haunted house so terrifying, whoever doesn't sell me their property will be running out of this town in fear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now where should we start? The body parts room? <laughs> Yes, I want lots and lots of body parts. Hey, where are all these kill your fake body parts at, boss? Who said fake? I want real. Real arms and legs. Real arms and legs. Now, I've made the arrangements at the morgue, so head on over there and go get them. They're ready for you. What are you waiting for? Don't make me ask you again. You dimwits. Snowflake, come to daddy. Bring me my slippers. Now, Snowflake. You are not going to believe this. Snively just got the approval to reopen the old gold mine and start digging again. Yeah, sure. Well, the mine is so big, it's under the entire city where everyone lives. So, 
if the people of Henderson are all gone, then the gold's all his, guys. But, if we're all here, gold is all ours. So that's what all this crazy stuff is about? Getting everyone out of Henderson? Well, it's doing a great job then. Parents are ready to move. Yeah, they're ready to move. Yes. Guys, let's sneak out of the party later and see what we're up against. That's a good Sounds plan. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. So, how much of that gold do you think would be mine? Like in dollars. For us. Party parts. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna get them. Yeah, party parts. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not scary. Mm-hmm. That's not scary. Get some parts. The boss wants body parts. Go get something body parts so you can scare these kids. Mm -hmm. That's what the boss wants. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? That's not scary. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Won't you throw some real blood on there? The boss wants it to be scary. All you crazy characters on Sunday, right? Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, Mayor. Hey, I didn't think I'd see you here. Why not? Well, you know, since church sometimes tends to be against, you know, Halloween parties and dancing. <laughs> well, this is me, and just me, but it's more about the family and fellowship. Participate, not celebrate, you know? Yeah, I like that. Not to mention the opportunity it gives preachers to talk to everybody about, well, the afterlife. You see, without Jesus, we would be completely separated from God in death. So death is real. You could be standing right there and choke on that chocolate. <coughs> With the mercy and love of God, we can have eternal life. Oh. That's pretty cool. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm a little show. How many candy bars is that for you today? Only four. Uh, the last one I have was no good. I you like think maybe that's life. four too many? Hey guys. No, no, no. You guys are fantastic. I think these are the best costumes we've had. Thank you. I think we all should have came as polar bears because it's freezing in here. I know. I'm so sorry. Something wrong with the boiler, the heating system. I don't know. It's going to take a miracle to fix it. But you guys have fun. Stay in the cafeteria, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Well, yeah, it's been a good party. Oh, great turn. Hey. Hi. If it isn't a meeting, it's been good. And evil. You know, it's so cold in here that, well, we could use a little fire from down below. Oh, you know, just fighting the Lord's good fight. Oh, good. And Mayor, wearing chocolate from head to toe, I can tell. What do you think we should do about all the bizarre things that have been going on around here? My kids are starting to freak out, and so am I. No need to worry. My people are already on. Well, the Lord has his people, too, and I'm counting on them. Yes, but, but my people have it. Well, the Lord's got this one. Don't worry. Yeah, but my people are totally... The Lord. Excuse me, gentlemen, um, there's a small emergency I need to see to. Apparently, a plate of chocolate brownies has gone missing from the refreshment table. Mm -hmm. What? Fun. What? It wasn't me. So the other evening, you mentioned Snively? Uh, Snively. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm positive. I've heard it both ways. Anyways, you said he was a menace. Oh, yes. Yeah. Snively and I go way back. Yeah. In fact, we went to camp together as kids. Even back then, he was a small child, but he was definitely a bully and a menace. 
expect anyone to get in that box your mom brought you today. But, Pa. Just one? I thought you could eat five at a time. <laughs> Brutus, you be nice. Hi, Pa. What's it, Timmy? Cherry. It's my favorite. You guys can have some if you'd like. Yeah, Mom, like pie. Yeah. Yuck, you can't bet me a million dollars to eat that pie. Well, you better eat it before the creature from Dead Man's Island comes across the Ohio River. Hate you! My great grandfather Snively swears he saw the creature from Dead Man's Island. He saw the back of the creature. It looked like a giant with long, scraggly hair. But when it turned around. Are you okay? Give me a minute. All right, Mayor. You take care. Hey! Smart! <laughs> now go away. Good lumps. Why do you have all those keys anyways? Because when you have sisters that lock you in closets, you learn. Come on. Come on, Rusty. Guys, maybe this isn't such the best idea. Snively's up to something. I just know it. Plus, it's just snooping around. Come on. Okay. Now, we've got plenty of barrels of blood and plenty of rotten, smelly pumpkins. But we need more poison ivy and poison oak. Especially in the torture maze right there, where the kidneys are coming down the halls. And they're coming down. Now, guys, turn, guys, he's got a timer set. Yeah, they're gonna smell that pumpkin. It stinks. And then we're gonna kind of no. And then they're gonna turn up and they're kind of. What are you getting at, Elmer? Oh, get up. Look at. Go. Hurry up. Go. Hurry up. Come on, Snowflake. Come on, let's get them. Let's get them. They're bite size. Yeah! They're just jerks. So, did anything happen to y'all guys after the lightning at church? 
I can cast spells. I can cast spells. Time out. Time out. So what happened to us is what scientists call electromagnetic transfer osmosis, and according to them, it can be pretty what? serious. Don't ask me about it. We'll be here all day. All I care is that maybe we can stop Sniffly from running every Scaring. scaring everyone of Henderson. There has to be a logical solution to this. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I think it's gonna take a lot more than logic, like a miracle. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Let's meet up at the treehouse tonight and see what we can do with our powers. Okay. So, sounds good. Right. See y'all there. Yeah. Bye. Lucky shot. Okay, whatever you say, little brother. Just because you're two minutes older doesn't make a difference. Oh, then you better put matters. that stick hey, down. Dad. Break it up! Have a seat. I'm not sitting in that girly seat. It's not that big of a deal, Tommy. Anyone have any ideas about sniveling? Guys, come on, nobody has any ideas? Guys, I could cast some nasty spells on him. Good morning, Dark Shine. <laughs> you handsome devil, you. You're no Beetlejuice, but you're still pretty good. <laughs> That should stop him. What are you looking at, sweetie poo? I'm not gonna read you a bedtime story tonight. Stop. But my great 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 grandson, you are besmirching the snively name. You must stop with your evil plan to chase the people from Henderson, or you will be cursed with these plagues forever. And for goodness sakes, take off that ridiculous hat in bed. You gave this town to the people, but I want it back. And soon I'll get it back. Tomorrow's a day that will never end for the people of Henderson. You're despicable. I am not. You're deplorable. I am not. Ah, uh, so. In fact, you're a jerk. I'm not a jerk, am I? Sweetie Pooh. What? I've been thinking. Maybe we can't defeat Snively. Maybe we can defeat the boiler. We could always check it out during lunch. I mean, it's worth a shot. But you really think you can fix a boiler? After this last night, I'm not sure what we can do. I'm not too worried about the boiler. I'm worried about a much bigger problem. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Respect my authority. Slow. F L O W. Blinky, what? You if you can do this, use those keys to get us into the boiler room, I just need to keep Rambo from finding us. What? You think? That's for me to know and for you to find out. You sound like my grandpa. Like, really? <laughs> but, I mean, we can try it. <laughs> Not in my house! That litter needs a baby fitter. Put your baby in the crib. Get to stepping. Kids today, I'll tell you. So, Rusty, what you got for Rambo? Come on, I'll show you.
Whoa. Stop the presses. Is that a kitty cat on school property? Oh no, not today, Mr. Whiskers. No way. We need some now. <laughs> yeah, I found it. In your diet. There you go, my friend. <laughs> yeah, little kitty cat. You're mine. Not today. Not in my family. A discarded can of a carbonated beverage? Hey, Mr. Beverage, do you like magic? Because I'm going to make you disappear. Yeah. Yeah. See? Voila! Ah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's that. Let's go, buddy. My work here is done. Wait a minute. I know that smell. Is that, is that an ocean breeze? Is that a rhinoceros? Oh no, I know for a fact. That's Teenage Troublemakers. I know that smell, and I'm coming to get you. Blinky, Blinky, Blinky. Do you have a key? Um, yeah. Come on. Here. Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. Oh. Oh, so this is where they keep all this junk. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Steve! Mad as well. That's okay. You can call me Rambo. Okay, Mr. Rambo, welcome. Whose cat does this belong to? Here, here. You, you take Kitty. No, no, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so, this is the Hey, 
sweet bud. How was school? Well, I made a kitten magically appear, and... Harry Potter! Stop. Um... Oh, I think to the security guy, Rambo. Did you say Rambo? Is in... Mm -hmm. He drew first blood, not me. Gosh, please stop. I fixed the school boiler room. Hey, check this out. That's the weather app. But why is it so sunny out for? I don't know. Well, if things don't change around here, your mother and I have agreed that we're hasta la vista, baby. We're out of Henderson. That's not funny. This is crazy. I mean, did you guys understand in the boiler room last night? What does she mean about the pressure? Um, it's, it's confusing. Well, I told you guys it had to fart, yeah, right? It's gross. It's still gross. Wait, so why are we here anyway? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Bad news is the sun is still shining. The good news is we're all still alive. Yay. Wait, yeah. do you remember what Snively said? Tomorrow, there will be no night for the people of Henderson. But how can you turn the night into day? Well, through my extensive research, guys, I found irrefutable evidence online that he's using satellites. Real life satellites with mirrors on them to shine light from other parts of the world down onto us here in Henderson. And you just happened to discover that in the last 24 hours. I mean, is that the bad news or can it get worse? Well, if he can do that. Then he won't have much trouble activating the earthquake to destroy Henderson. Yeah. Or people, people from leaving, leaving Henderson. Henderson. Hi. Uh, dinner's here already? They're a little early today, aren't they? Hey y'all, how you doing? Aren't you early for meals on wheels? Well, it's 7.30. No, it can't be. Oh, well, well, you know, we're having some pretty strange weather. Yeah, yeah it's been kind of weird, but that's true. You guys have a great day. All right, thank All right. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Tammy. What's wrong, babe? Oh, oh, you know you're not supposed to use this phone unless it's an emergency, right? I think it is. Mom? What's happening outside? It's not getting dark, and I'm freaking out. I mean, is this like the end of the world? No, 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 listen, it's gonna be fine. I know, I know this guy's doing a weird thing. It's probably just some kind of climate change thing, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna be talking to Daddy really, really soon, and we'll just see what he says, okay? Mom, please. Yeah, don't worry, babe, it's gonna be fine, okay? I love you. Love you too. I'm serious, Doug. I I can't tell you. Tammy is absolutely freaking out, and to be honest, I am too. Yeah. Well, I understand, hon, but um, I don't know. I, I called Mom and Dad, and they said it was dark over there the way it should be. So maybe we just need to call that lawyer, Benjamin, and talk to him about selling the house, like tonight. Uh, I guess you're right. I hate to do it. Yeah. Well, hello, girls. What brings you in today? Look at their faces. They walked in their bedroom as girls and walked out as Burt Reynolds. We just don't understand how this could have happened. We told you already. Blinky got a spell on us. Yeah, she's a real witch. Also, enough of this nonsense. And don't talk about your sister that way. Great Scott, Doc. Is there anything you can do? Let's take a look. Um, most likely to be hormonal changes. I think we probably need to start a hormonal treatment to get this under control, okay? So give me a couple minutes and I'll be back with a plan, okay? All right. But until that time, we probably need to invest in some good razors. Mom? I don't know. It's mine. <laughs> I've bought them all. Get out of town. It's ours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Darling, play us a little tune.
I know that so many of you are confused and dismayed about the many recent frightful circumstances here in Henderson and are thinking about moving away. There is no doubt that evil is at work here. And we may each have our suspicions about who might be at the bottom of these menacing threats to our community. <coughs> Snibbly. However, we know that we are in the care of the Lord and the person or people responsible will be revealed. But remember, the Bible tells us that while we may condemn, we must also forgive no matter who that person might be. Class, today we're going to be talking about one of the greatest stories in the Bible, David and Goliath. It's a story of faith and courage and overcoming what seems to be impossible. Lanky, what's wrong? I just don't want to talk about it right now. Miss Hoof, uh, um, Hoffman, does God always answer your prayers? What if you really need help? God hears our prayers and he does answer them but not necessarily with the answer that we're expecting. Sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. But even when you feel the answer is no, remember, God has a plan to help you, and he wants you to do what you can to find the answer yourself. May I ask a theoretical question, ma'am? Of course. If you find it, is it guaranteed to always work? It may not work the first time, but God expects you to keep trying. You've got to have courage and believe. That's how you build character and strength, through your faith. Oh, come on in. What a wonderful surprise. Um, why are you here? Well, kids, all of us parents thought this would be the best time and place to talk to you guys. We've all decided to sell our homes to Mr. Snively. What? No! What? It's actually Snively. I've heard it both ways. Alrighty then. But guys, he's given us really generous offers. I'm sorry, and I know this is going to be hard on you, but I need you to pack all your rooms up this week, and we're leaving right after Halloween. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry, Blinky. We're sorry. No, I'm not going to leave. Wait, don't drop me. I can't believe. Lanky, come on. I mean, Did that just really happen? Let's just I make a laugh from him. They'll get over him. I knew they were going to be upset, but not that upset. How's the pain? How can we hurt you? Is this Brutus? Yes, yes, what is it? Well, just want to let you know that people are selling us their homes left and right. Especially after the day night never came. That <laughs> totally freaked people out. So things are going very, very well. But Brutus? You got a big, I mean, huge problem. <laughs> That's one thing I don't have is problems. Well, go on, get at it. Well, Brutus, I checked with your bank the other day, and you don't have enough money to pay everyone. Not even close. <laughs> Did you hear that snowflake? I don't have enough money to pay everyone. <laughs> you idiot. I never intended on paying anyone anything. They're all suckers, <laughs> and in a few days their house will be worth nothing. <laughs> and by the way, Benji boy, don't send me your bill either. <laughs> See ya, and I wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's our snowflake. <laughs>
I watched this video just to get dance in. <laughs> Wait. Why does he still have his powers but we don't? Because he never stopped believing in himself. And Samson believed he could get the squirrel. So he never lost his confidence. He's right. He never did stop believing, guys. We did, though. We may all be intelligent, but we definitely weren't very smart at this time. What about now, though? You guys, we can stop sniffling, but we have to start believing again. It's like Miss Hoffman said. All we have to do is have courage and believe. I mean, guys, if a dog can do it. Based off of this film that she just showed us, I do believe that with little to no chance of error, we can definitely kick Snibley's behind. Yeah! Guys, guys, I need to take a reality check. So, tomorrow, meet me in the gym. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Hey guys, guys, come on. All right, I got a plan for tonight. Snowblue's gonna look he never made that haunted house. Yeah! yeah. Right? Going, this looks so cool. Are you having fun tonight? Yeah! <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone to my haunted house. I think it's okay, Mom. It's okay. It's okay. Sure. Come on, come on. Be careful. A trick. No, I've got a treat for you. Come on in. Come on up. Step on up. Yes, enjoy the haunted house. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, Please, oh, it's no. for the children only. Can yes, I'm sure you'll understand. You now make way. Come on. Yes, no, come on. Good. Come on, kiddos. Yes. You guys stay together. Let's go. Okay, be careful, guys. Stay together. Yes, yes. Text me, Maddie. They'll be fine. They're in good hands. Sure, you understand. <laughs> Are we sure about this? I don't know. I guess at all. Not a good thing. It's good to see you again, children. <laughs> well, come along. Come right this way. Come on, follow me. Guys, guys, calm down. It's just a haunted house. Stu! We need to find Snibbly. Yeah, and um, I can, I can climb the hole and find a door. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Let's go. All right, guys. Yes. Take me with you, please. Next time I see him, I'm going to freeze him. I'll get the butcher. You get the shadow. Yep. You get the butcher. I'll get the shadow. <laughs> so, your friends have left you all alone. Nice one. Thanks. Is that ain't freezing. Probably not. No crap, I'm It should be. <laughs> Good job with the um, wires. Thank you. I got them to the lab and I found a door. Okay, let's go. No, let's go. No, no, no. Come on, hurry. This is that monitor I saw whenever we were snooping. Okay. All right. Crap, we've still only got three minutes, though. Till what? Till the earthquake wipes out all of Henderson. Um, I can change the coordinates to only it's here, but what? it will stop in three minutes. All right, we'll do that. Got it. All right, great. Hey, wait, what's that thing? I don't what know. Who's that? Leave it. Oh, no. Maddie! Hi. 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 It's only going to go off at the house. Okay. Yeah, but we've only got three minutes, so we gotta be quick. Make that two minutes and 30 seconds. We need to go. Come on, guys, go get Snibble. What? Just can't leave him there. After us three, we'll go. Done. You all stay. He's done so much to us, though. Huh? Really? After literally everything he's done to us, they're gonna go get him. Oh. 
Uh oh. We have a problem. Now how many goons are loose? We gotta get out of here. Army crawl. Army crawl. Go get the team. Chloe, <laughs> Geek Ink, not your service. Shell them, and you cannot smart me. Rusty, you're no magician. Tommy and Tammy, it was me at the lake that ruined your birthday party. Guys, guys, Man, the door. Hurry, we are this way. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. No, it's locked. No, it's Rambo, what are you doing here? Hey, I've had my good eye on you guys ever since school. Ever since you made Decoy appear. I don't know how you did that, by the way. That was really cool. So, listen, kids. We ain't got no time to waste. Rambo says, no more trick or treat. Let's get to the street. Come on, kids, go. Yeah, let's let's go. go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Snidley, where you at, Snidley? Hey, I got something. Hey. to do yet. No, not Mr. Topper. Give him back. Hey, Mr. Topper. <laughs> See? My people. Hello. You can hear me? All right, fantastic. Well, thank you all for being here today. At today's celebration and recognition of our own Halloween heroes. An award yes, ceremony. Yeah. Look at him up there. We appreciate this whole town should have been mine. Oh, all mine. We want to and I would have had it all too, you know. Oh, before we get started, I would like to ask Pastor Dale to please join me here on stage for a word of prayer and thanks. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you all for coming. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for having such fine young people in our community as the Halloween heroes. Young people with such strong values of right and wrong, of courage and character that was passed down to them from their wonderful parents and elders. We thank you, Lord, and those crazy kids. Amen. Yes, yes, yes amen indeed. All right. Well... First of all, I have wonderful news for the entire community. With some of the gold that was mined from under the city, thanks to my people, we are going to build a community center for all the children of Henderson. Yes, it's wonderful, wonderful news. And we're going to build it on the site of the old Snively Mansion. You mean Snively? No, it's, it's Snively. Uh, but I've heard it both ways. <laughs> so, without further ado, I would like for Principal Healy and the Halloween heroes to join me here on stage, please. And I would have had it all if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Oh. And Mayor Tim. All right, here we go. For bringing an end to the calamities and disturbances in our community, and for the apprehension of the individual responsible Snively. The city of Henderson awards this plaque of commendation and outstanding citizenship to the group known as the Halloween Heroes. Principal Healy, if you would, please. You guys, I just want you to know how proud I am of all of you. I'm going to place this plaque at the opening of our school so everyone who comes in will know as long as you believe in yourself and have courage, anything is possible including fixing a broken boiler. 
Congratulations, guys. Just one more announcement to make. My mother, of course, has donated some of her famous cherry pies for refreshments today. Uh, mother, could you please uh, wave your hand so everyone can see you? Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I love my Timmy. I do love her cherry pies. Yuck, you couldn't pay me a million dollars to eat that pie. Shut up, Sniffles! Here's a quarter, go get me a candy bar. This isn't enough. Make it enough. Yes, sir, Mr. Mountain, sir. And take off that ridiculous hat. Well, I guess we really did say Henderson. And everything has changed for my friends and me. Wow. Maddie found her speed and her determination. That's a new track record. She now wants to be an Olympian. Tommy and Tammy stopped being so competitive and became better role models. Students to the bar, sidekick stretches. Yes, sir. Good job, you too. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, well done. Good job. Mwah. Proud of you. That's what I want to see. Good job, little brother. It was only two minutes. He's in a class right now, but I can have him call you back when he's done. Okay. Chloe so really okay. did start her own business. Thank you. Hi, I'm here to fix your computer. Geek Inc. At your service. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? Let's go! Are you sure? Rusty changed his name to Rusty the Magnificent. Abracadabra. <laughs> change me back! He still uses his sister for magic practice. Oh. Hurry up and change me back! Okay. Abracadabra. You asked for it. Sheldon found his confidence and his invention actually worked. See Sheldon, I knew you could do it. Best of all, he finally won the science fair. As for me, I found the ability to stand up for myself and my friends. God gave us these gifts. We just had to believe in ourselves. I promise you, if anything like this ever happens again, the Halloween heroes will be there to save the day.
I'm here to learn Taiwando. They say I need to uh, lose some weight. Oh, well, uh, class is over tonight, but tomorrow at 7. Okay, I'll come back. Excellent. Would you like some? How do you use these things? 